So today we're going to talk about focus points and you're going to be looking at the back of the camera most of the time so I can show you the different focus points. I have a Fuji X camera and that's what I'm using today although other camera manufacturers have pretty much the same type of focusing range options. And helping me today is Sienna who's going to be modeling in all the photos although you're going to see her pretty much on the back of the camera. So I'm going to start with the wide option for this camera which means it's going to choose whatever focus point it wants to and in this case there's a branch right in front of her and that was done intentionally so hopefully the camera is going to focus on that instead of her face and it sort of did that time come on the fact that it's blowing is not helping <laughs> yeah that'll help there so what it did then was it focused both on the branch and her arm that's holding the branch and since that's a few inches probably at least a half a foot mm -hmm. in front of her face her face is not going to be in focus but the branch will be and that's not really what you want so the wide focusing option is not the best for photographing people so now we're going to move so that branch is not in front of her face because the rest of the options we're going to cover are something you'd want to use and it's not a good picture to have something in front of somebody's face like that. So the next option we're going to use is zone where you can pick just certain sections that it's going to focus on groups of focus points and here I can move it around so you can see the different focus points and in this particular camera I can make the, the group area larger or smaller so I'm going to go with the smallest one, which is three by three. I'm going to move it around so that it's not on her face, so you can see how that works. And now it's focusing, you can see it's focusing where I, want, where I told it to, but that's not on her face. So let's move it so that it is on her face. And there you can see every time it's focusing on her face. And this actually works pretty well unless you have a really shallow depth of field because it's using multiple groups of focus points so if if you were just using one it might be off a little bit but using a group of them I found to work pretty well especially with this camera so now let's go to single focus point and you pick whichever whichever point you want and you can make it bigger and smaller on this camera like you could the group so I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna put it right about over one of her eyes and now when I focus it's locking on her eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture and we're gonna see if it's going to actually work so let's look at that let's zoom in yep it focused just exactly as you wanted to it's a nice sharp image so the good thing for doing this particular method is if you're doing something off-center and typically portraits are off-center a little bit I mean, somebody's eyes is what you want to focus on, so that's going to be not in the center of the frame. You can move this focus point around so that you don't have to keep reorienting the camera every time you lock focus. Well, another thing I want to talk about is face detection and eye detection, which this camera will let you do. So I'm going to turn on face detection first. And you can see it's already found her face. So see, I'm going to move around a little bit and see if this tracks you. Yep it's tracking her. Even when she turns her face a little bit, it's still tracking her. And then when you get ready to take the picture, it's going to use that, lock in, take the photo. So let's see if it did a good job of doing that. Yep, in focus, exactly what you want to see. So now let's do eye detection. Now you can see there's, it's found the face too, but there's this other little box which is trying to find her eye. And sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not. There. Now move around a little bit and see if it, if it tracks. It's not doing as good a job on tracking the eye as it is on tracking the face. But it is doing it every once in a while. So hold still a little bit and see if it can find your eye. And it's struggling. So when I come back to this, I'll get the camera in a little bit closer so she's filling the frame. So before I get to that, I also want to get to manual focus. So sometimes you might want to manually focus because nothing else is working. So I'm going to set this camera to manual. 
and this has um, focus peaking in it so you can see there's kind of a aqua highlight on areas that are in that are contrast edges and the more you see of those the better it is in focus so that looks like things are in focus especially around our eyes so if I take a photo let's see if it was good yep definitely in focus so now let's show you one other thing you can do Oops. so I can move that point around that you, that little box you see and I can zoom in specifically on that area so I get a much wider area <laughs> the bugs are descending <laughs> and then I can focus at a much higher magnification which sometimes help and then when you, you can then come back out again or you can leave that and just take the photo as it is see if that was in focus yep it was all right so i'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer and we're gonna try eye detection again so now i've moved the camera closer we've got eye detection set back on again and you see even as she's moving it's been able to find find one of her eyes and track it as she's moving around a little bit it's going to jump back and forth sometimes between the eyes probably whichever one's closer is the one it's going to try and focus on so yeah strike a pose Good, it's on the eye. We're gonna focus and then let's see if it worked. Yep, it did, nice and sharp. So there's two other things you can do with this eye, which is tell it left eye or right eye. I'm gonna see if this works, I'd be a... Yeah, so move around, let's see if it's tracking only the right eye. It's trying to. It is, it is going after what is her right eye left as on this. So I'm going to switch it to left and see if that works. Yep, now it's looking for the other eye. So good, hold a pose. Wait for it to kind of lock in. It's having trouble. see if that worked yep that worked so when was able to lock focus on any of these focusing modes except for the first one it is in focus different camera manufacturers are going to have different ways and different names for these things but they all pretty much work the same way so those are how you change your focus points and if you didn't know that you could do that try it out the next time you're photographing somebody that's it for today